Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be going through the Bitcoin chart and the most important resistance that we are up against right now on this chart. I also want to be covering how we had the apparently bullish stimulus news right up the high of the move and how this still leads in a downtrend and really highlighting the importance of making a plan and then sticking to that plan. Ladies and gentlemen, I think you're going to really love this video. You are here today watching this for the most professional and accurate technical analysis on YouTube. We're getting levels to the dollar again. I'm going to share that with you in today's video, and I just really hope that you enjoy. So let's begin. Bitcoin, 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 the love of my life. Uh, what do we see here today? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I want to just share with you for five minutes this action that happened up at the highs, what was going on in here? Who was aware of the levels? What was happening? Why are we coming down? What's going to be happening next? So this is basically a members live stream that I made yesterday. So this was done yesterday morning, whereas essentially I was giving my next trading plan. And I was saying what I wanted to look for, for the longs or the short positions. And for my shorts, I was my exact words while we were there at $55,300, my exact words were, I am definitely not going to short here. Why? Because I do not have my confluence. I do not class this as a good short trade. What do I need? I need to see a move up to my confluence of resistances. That is where I will strike. That is where I'll be waiting. And ladies and gentlemen, that was done around 9.30 a.m., that live stream for the members. And then a little bit later, I defined my levels and I found the level of confluence that I was after. Obviously, we made our way up. We made our way up into our resistance box. Gave this update here. As you can see, we have this now weekly level of resistance. And then this is what I'm loving. I'm loving that we have our weekly and then we had the point of control at $57,500. $57,500. $57,500 point of control on the weekly. You start to see how we're starting to get some really nice confluences. Weekly, really big resistance. Point of control on the weekly, really big resistance. But what was the icing on the cake? What really was pretty funny, I suppose. You could class it as funny. You could class it as show me the charts, I'll tell you the news. I don't know what to say here, but ladies and gentlemen, if we just remove, uh, or we put back on our drawings, we come up. You can see, you see this? Uh, so this is obviously where we're coming up into our resistances of, of confluence. This is what we were looking for. They push up into here, spend some time at the highs before coming straight back down. If you can see here, we push up into our resistance. We do spend some time up at those highs and we, we push straight back down. But that, that, that's not that impressive. Let's zoom in here and let's go over the level that we rejected from. As you can see here, this post was made yesterday at 6 p.m. Again, ladies and gentlemen, that's the weekly in confluence with 57,500 point of control. Po what's the point of control, you might ask? It's the, it's the level with the most volume. OK, so if you're looking at volume on a, or, 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 you know, at each at each price where volume is transacted, okay, obviously at every single price point there's volume transacted because you always have buyers and you always have sellers. And at 57,500 in that range, we had the highest amount of volume transacted. Thus, we can say that this is a good resistance. And then obviously with, with the confluence of the weekly, it's, it's very nice resistance, I suppose. Um, and ladies and gentlemen, you want to see the exact dollar high, the exact dollar high. Look up the top left here. We're going to look at the top left and we're going to move our mouse over to the exact dollar of the high. You see there, the high, the high, $57,500 to the exact dollar. Ladies and gentlemen, I told you a few days ago, I'm not going to do any speaking about other people. All I'm going to do is let my trades do all the speaking. And here I'm going to just show you 57500 What's the level of confluence, ladies and gentlemen? The exact dollar of the high, $57,500. And you want to see this really funny alert I had as well? Uh, weekly short triggered. Had that, I had that, had that, that, that weekly short ready and waiting. And, you know, I'm executing my trades. Don't worry about me. Uh, but yeah, that's basically how we progress from here. So what do we do? What you know? What's the highlights of this? It's making an original plan. It's recognizing I don't want to short $55,300. I'm not going to short here. Why? Because I don't have my high probability trade. Really simply. I was very making that clear. I'm not shorting where we are here because I want to see the push up for the short. Then 
I recognize where we have that confluence. What happens next? Well, what happens next is actually really funny. Uh, what actually happened up at these highs? What is the massive thing that's very funny for me? What happened up at these highs? And I suppose other champions. But um, what happened up at these highs is that there was a bit of news that come out, which many people are going to think is very bullish. What happened up here, ladies and gentlemen? Again, I don't follow the news. I just see what's posted in the group, if I'm totally honest with you. But a lot of people were saying, here's the live stream for the stimulus. And apparently the stimulus news actually, you know, the stimulus check actually got approved. So a few days ago, there was the rumors. And now yesterday, apparently it's all got approved and it's all set in stone. It's all happening. And that was literally coming out. That news was coming out at 7 p.m. my time up at the absolute high. So what did you have up here? You had a mixture of massive FOMO buying up at the highs, starting to get your breakout traders come back in. You're starting to get your people trading the news longing. You, you, you're just getting everybody, 90, you know, I want to say it, 99% of the world probably very bullish at that moment in time. Guess what? Because people love these sort of things. People are so obsessed with these sort of things. It's just... Who, who who won this? Who won this trade? Was it the people buying out of FOMO up at the highs for some stimulus check, or was it the people doing technical analysis, making their plans, trading their plans, and uh, using their technical analysis? Well, I think we we can all just see. I know I don't need to tell you who won that. Um, and let me show you this post because it's very you know I just want to get you thinking. I want to get you thinking about the power of technical analysis. Literally every single person in the whole world who FOMOs into the stimulus news is losing money as we make it. Let that sink in for a minute. Like literally just let that sink in for a minute. While 99, maybe 95% of the whole world are FOMOing in up into our resistance of confluence. I'm happily taking my short positions. And 95% of the world are losing money while the champions make it from trading the charts, from trading the technicals. Now, I think that's pretty, pretty powerful when you just really do let that sink in for a minute and absorb what I'm telling you here. I think it's I think it should be hopefully eye opening for you. I hope, really hope that this is really opening your eyes to why we make plans, why we make confluences, why we only take the highest probability trades. Why is this? It's because it's the only way to consistently, consistently, this is the only way to consistently make money. We cannot consistently make money if we are buying news because it's unpredictable. We cannot make money if we are trading out of fear of missing out. If we are trading out of, you know, fear of missing the move, feeling annoyed at yourself, all these different emotions, none of these ways are going to make you money over the long term consistently. The only way we can survive trading in the long term, and this means being able to trade bull markets, being able to trade bear markets. When this market turns around and heads down heavily, you know, you have to be able to trade that because it's going to happen. And well, ladies and gentlemen, the only way that you can expect to be able to trade sideways ranges, bull markets and bear markets alike, is by using technical analysis. I mean, I don't need to. I don't need to. Don't need to say anything. Um, hey, we got the technical. We let's just say this is our level, and uh, we rejected from it to to the absolute dollar of that point of control. What can I say? Ladies and gentlemen, where are we down now? To now then, if we take our fibs from the low of this move up to the high. You can see that we're right into the CC at the moment. So this is generally your intraday support. You can see we're spending quite a lot of time down and around here, uh, coming on nearly three hours, <laughs> nearly three hours down on this CC. So we're currently at an intraday support, I suppose. Um, yeah, we're, we're, we are at an intraday support. OK, we, we definitely are. And if we just take a look at this. Yeah. You know, to to be on, I actually I do remember that. Yeah, we we spent a lot of time at fifty four thousand dollars. So you know, you got that fifty four, fifty three thousand dollars. Really, really, I would say important. I actually would say important support because, you know, it's going to be quite a drop if we kind of start to lose fifty three thousand dollars. Let's be honest, it could potentially be quite a drop. Um, but you know, I'm not going to sit here in this video and tell you everything that you know. All I'm going to say is you have a pretty important support in my opinion of of around fifty three, fifty four thousand dollars. Uh, why? Because this was our last area of consolidation. This is where we have our major volume and we are also at the CC. So, you know, fib, Fibonacci from low to high, but we're in the CC support. So you do have, again, a confluence of supports here. So personally, 
I would say if you short it up here, which I don't know how many people did, but, um, you know, if you short it up here, then I would say that this is a take profit. If you didn't short up here, then, hey, better luck next time, I suppose. <laughs> but th this, in my opinion, is, is a support region. If we lose this support region, well, guess what? We trade it level to level. You lose support, you look down to your next le level of support. If we had broke this resistance, if we'd actually broke this weekly, then naturally, yes, you know, we'd have looked towards our next level, which would probably have been all-time high, to be totally honest with you. This weekly really was like your last level, <laughs> really was your last level of defense and put up pretty nicely, I, I think so myself. But um, yeah, all, all I can say is this is naturally a take profit. Why? We're, we're at our, you know, we're... I wouldn't say we're right at it at the moment, but this is coming to a support zone, you know, $54,000. We are at the CC, which is naturally a, a level of support. And, um, you know, there's enough reason to take profits. If you want a long here, go go for it. But I'm not going to tell you what to do. <laughs> no financial advice in this video. Let me just load up that disclaimer because otherwise um, I just need to protect myself now on every single video that I do. So, um, yeah, no financial advice. I'm not telling you what to do with your money. And uh, this video is entertainment, educational purposes only. There you go. That's an important legal disclaimer. But nevertheless, if you want a long here, hey, you, you have at least a technical reason. At, at least if you're longing here, you're not FOMOing into the highs. This is the worst and weirdest trade I've ever seen if you're longing up here. At least if you long here and you lose money, hey, at least you had a good technical reason to long here. So, um, yeah, you obviously do have a technical reason to long. So they, there you go. You're at the CC support. This was your weekly resistance. Um, yeah, that, this is what the main things I want to talk you through. Obviously, I haven't shown you all of the posts in this video. And that's because I'm being slightly cautious about what I do. As people are saying here, let's keep the chart champion trade secret. Remember to be a ninja. I think it's beneficial to you in the community. So I am being a bit secretive with some of our posts, with some of the things, but that is just because of what's been going on recently. I ha I cannot really release, unfortunately, so much information in our public videos anymore. And that, that's just, hey, that is just what's happening right now. Maybe that will change as things die down in a, in a you, know, as a, you know, maybe they will die down and we can start to do this again for the public for free. But currently, yeah, we are having to be a little bit secretive, I suppose, but you know, I, I, unfortunately, I can't really do much about it at the moment. But um, I just need to, you know, lay slightly lay low. <laughs> I'm not sure whether I should make this video even. But um, there you go. So, yeah, f things that I want you to remember here. I want you to, and I've given you now, I've given you this. So we have our weekly level of resistance. We had that point of control, 57,500. We had a lot of people buying the stimulus news up at the highs. Guess what? Well, I think they're likely liquidated, if I'm totally honest with you. I would say they're likely liquidated. This is a move down of over 5%. People trading high leverage, you know, that's unfortunate, but they are liquidated. Um, so we've had, a, we've had quite a substantial move to the downside. This is our key resistance. Honestly, I feel this is the now the key resistance. Um, you have that key support about, you know, I want to say $54,000, $53,000, give it a $1,000 region. Uh, currently, you're at the CC support. So, I mean, I can give you the exact reason, literally the exact dollar, the exact dollar I can give you why we rejected up at the highest. Why? Point of control. That was identified way before we happened, a few hours before it come in. Um, that was the exact level we rejected from. So, I'm giving you that in that video, in this video, why we rejected up here. I'm giving you the exact reason why we're finding support around here. Why? Fibs from low to high, we're in that CC support. And that's why we're finding some consolidation. If we lose this CC, we then have obviously our support, 50, 54, $53,000. If we lose that, we'll naturally we'll look down for lower levels. But until, you know, until we lose these lower levels, maybe we bounce off the CC. At the moment, we have CC support, weekly resistance, 54K below you. What more can I give you in this video without without um, going too far into things? You know, if you want more details, obviously, chartchampions.com. We have the membership. Um, you can see here some pretty nice posts. This 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 guy uh, making uh, $8,000 yesterday, $100,000 in a week. That's Haymaker, the absolute legend. Uh, you see, you see this guy also making uh, $200, $236 in a day as well. Just... Uh, you know, whether it's people making lots of money, people just starting, maybe some people just making $5 a day. Uh, I think it's safe to say everybody, you know, striving towards bettering themselves, bettering their lives and bettering the lives of their families. That's why we're here. That's why we're here to help. Ladies and gentlemen, what I want to say is remember this, remember this, although we might not be um, 
publishing everything in the public anymore. We are always here. We are like ninjas in the shadows. Uh, you might not, you might not see us, but we are always there. Just remember that we will always be there. We will be trading the charts, and I mean this in a technical way, just purely technical analysis focused way. Like. We are not going to stop trading these charts. We're not going to stop getting the best entries possible. Um, you know, yeah, just, 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 uh, yeah, this is, this is what we do. This is what we do. Uh, so yeah, there you go. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've taught you through the resistance up at the highs. I've taught you through the, a bit of an education of why we originally make these plans, how we recognize confluences, why we don't get you know, while lots of people might then be too scared to take their shorts up at the high, you know, you've got to not be scared. You've got to, you know, you've got to make a plan and stick to the plan, whatever's going on. Uh, you know, we're talking you through why you've got to take profits. My opinion is to take profit because, you know, there's a potential that we reverse it. But I'm pretty sure some members even are, you know, look at this. So, so some members are literally longing the absolute low of this move. Um, got into his long, uh, uh, you know, right off, off the low of that CC. So, hey. You know, some people are longing this as well in, in the group. And I don't, I'm not saying what I'm doing here in this video. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, hope you have enjoyed. I'll wrap it up here and just say uh, thank you ever so much, everybody. I'm going to try and ease back into the public content. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, but I hope I've offered you some insights into how we approach our trading every single day. And why we trade the charts, block out for news, you know, Let's just say this. The technicals, the technicals are very well respected. Thank you ever so much, everybody. Cheers. Have a brilliant day and goodbye. Cheers.